Okay. Like my Chapter four, vocab one, the boxes. This information starts in the blue book on page 127. If you want to take note or reference later, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know. So if you want to ask how something went, that's how we're going to start. Ask how something went. In class, we talked about como, how. Did something go, fue, the past tense of ear, and then we said, like, for you, como te fue. So that's the first thing that we're going to um, have, is just como te fue. And you could put something here, like, como te fue, el partido de um, football. How did the soccer game go? Como te fue? How did it go for you? And then you would answer, Oh, me fue bien. Estaba con cansada. I was tired. Pero me fue bien. It went well. Ganamos. We won. Or, if you want to say, How did something turn out? They say, Como? To go out is salir. And so they use the form of salir in the past preterite. Como salió? So I could how say, did go out? how did it, they just said, como salió, how did it go for you? But they use salir. Why is there a blank there? Because you could say, como salió la competencia de oratoria, how did the competition of speech go? Or you could just say, oh, como salió, how did it go? Oh, tu fuiste a una visita de la universidad, you went on a college visit, visit. como salió, how did it go for you? How did it turn out? So these are all very, very close to each other, asking how something was. Um, and then the last one is just a phrase that I had to memorize. K tall is like, hey, what's happening? K tall is stuvo. Was it happening or like, how was it? K tall is stuvo. And you could have something after that as well. K tall is stuvo uh, la clase de química. Hey, how was chemistry class today? K tal es stuvo. Or you say, como te fue, how did it go for you? Or, como salió, how did it come out? Um, so, then from here an answer could be, fue un éxito. And we talked about this one day in class, but I don't think you wrote it down. Fue un éxito, it was a success. Fue un éxito. Fue. Not fui. I was a success. I guess you could say that. If you were doing an individual competition or something, say, oh, fui un éxito. I was a success. Something singular was a success or a failure. Remember failure? Fracaso. Fue un fracaso. What's that mean? Failure. So, if you ask my husband how his football game was on Friday, <laughs> como fue, como te fue el partido, he would say, fue un fracaso. I think one kid broke his thumb, one tore his groin. Fue un fracaso. See? Delish. Yes. Malo. Was it bad? Sí. Yeah. Ask me, como salió? Salió muy malo. It went real bad. And it was five and Yeah, they're all Salió? Muy mal. Salió muy mal. It went very bad. What was the score? Like 16 to 12. Oh, goodness. <laughs> ¿Qué tal estuvo? How was it? Estuvo malo. Estuvo mal. It's bad. We are very positive today. Salió muy mal. Estuvo mal. Estuvo bien. Does Mendes have any, like, good... Players, like really good players. Mm -hmm. Center, center. Yeah, center. Um, estuvo. Okay, so we're gonna add like two more words. Estuvo fatal. It's like so bad, it's fatal. It just means awful. Estuvo fatal. Estuvo fatal. 
So I could say, estuvo fatal cuando, it was awful when, no sé. And then you can go on to describe the situation. Um, sometimes they'll say bueno, or they can say buenísimo if it's really, really good. Malísimo if it's really, really bad. Um, and then the last thing we'll say, like, how did you feel? Um, so ask how someone felt. How do you say to feel? Like I feel bad? Me siento. Me siento mal. I feel bad. Me siento bien. I feel good. Me siento super bueno. I feel really good. Um, Close. Sentir in the past. Yes, if you're speaking in the usted form, you could say. Como? Te, because it's a reflexive. Sentir. Chop off your IR and add your past two form. Como te sentiste? I can't help but not think of Pumba and Timon singing a Kuna Matata. When they say, Pumba, como, se, como te sentiste cuando? And they says, not in front of the kids. Pumba, not in front of the kids. Como te sentiste cuando? How did you feel when? Como te sentiste cuando? El equipo de voleibol ganó el estado. Me sentí super feliz y orgullosa. Orgullosa means proud. ¿Cómo te sentiste cuando el equipo de voleibol ganó el estado? Bastante. Kind of. What's an estado? State. Oh. Estado. Oh. ¿Cómo te sentiste cuando el equipo de voleibol ganó el estado? Yo bastante expected. Okay, yes, thank you. See, nosotros no. ¿Cómo te sentiste cuando tu hermano o hermana fue nacido? How did you feel when your sibling was born? Uh, mad. So, so how do you say it? I felt? Reflexive. Me sentí. Me sentí feliz. Me sentí triste. Malísimo. Malísimo. <laughs> Me sentí emocionada, excited. Um, you could say, it gave me... So, something singular. If we have our verb dar, dar and ver are irregulars together in the past. So, I gave myself D. You gave me, may D stay. The event that occurred gave me something singular would be Dio. So you could say, me Dio, it gave me, it gave me sadness. Triste is the adjective sad, but the noun for sadness is tristeza. T-R-I-S-T-E-Z-A, tristeza. Me dio tristeza. Me dio, it gave me embarrassment. Me dio vergüenza. Is this English? <laughs> yeah, it always pops on Maroon 5. I like this song. Vergüenza has two dots over the U. We're going to learn another word today that has the two dots. Vergüenza. Vergüenza. The Z makes the S sound. Vergüenza. And the last one that we'll write there is me dio una rabia. Like, I was so mad. I think of rabies. Rabia. Like, raging mad. Una rabia. Me dio una rabia. Gave me anger. Well, I thought Tom was going to be a good also. But he is kind of pretty around the edges. So. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Very questionable. Um, then... I guess there's one other thing that it can give you. We say, I felt like crying. So they would say, may, and then they would use the past tense of dar, which is dieron. Ganas, 
day. It gave me, gave me hopes of, and then you need a verb. So I'm going to say, oh my gosh, I felt like crying when we won state. Me dieron ganas de llorar. It gave me hopes of to cry. It gave me hopes of cheering. Me dieron ganas de gritar, shout, animar, cheer. So we're just going to talk about how things went, how you felt, with some different phrases.